Hi everyone, it is day seven of the Love Expanded Challenge. Wow, seven days. This has been a really awesome experience so far. And I want to talk about, you know, this isn't actually the thing that I'm talking about, but the number one way that I expand my love is meditation. I just got done meditating, that's why I wanted to mention it, because I feel so good and calm and I thought maybe I should wait a bit before I did this but I'm just gonna do it now this is the best time of the day for me so for me to expand my love right there's all the things I already do that I'm not necessarily talking about because that's I already do them like meditation right and it makes me feel so good but they're so powerful I mean, I had a headache before I didn't drink enough water today, and um, I didn't mention this in the video, but so it's heavy metals, that that little bag that holds whatever your breast implant has, seeps into your body. And then some people have a propensity for heavy metals, and I'm one of those, I found out recently. Um, so I should be doing cleanses anyway. Anyway, I meditated, I drank a, some water and meditated, and the headache went away. Yay! Meditation so powerful. Um, but what I want to talk about is how I can expand my love. This is something I've worked on a long time because I've gotten opposition from this. And my, my benchmark of if I have mastered something or not or if it is still an issue for me is if I'm triggered by it. If someone says something and there's no trigger or there's nothing that um, affects me, I know that it's their stuff, it's not mine. They can have whatever opinion they want. For instance, when these people are saying they're so surprised that I would get, like that must be such a big thing for you to get your breasts out. I'm like, okay, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> but there's other things that people say and I don't feel that way. For instance, this is something I've struggled with for a long time. So I've been a love consultant for seven years and the last few years I've not been in a steady relationship. I've been in relationships and they last a few months, three months, nine months, but I have, I'm not married. I'm not, yeah, and sometimes I'm not in a relationship. I'm not in one right now. And I'll get comments like this one I got from a friend of mine just yesterday and usually they're not ill-intended I I'm very much that's part of it they're not ill-intended but I still am triggered though he said well ha all this love stuff you're doing how's it working for you are you in a relationship <laughs> really what he was saying is are you single right now because I want to date you um, <laughs> and but the thing is that has been an issue for me because I'm not in a relationship when I started this I was and when I broke up from that relationship it was a huge thing for me I realized that it was an identity thing I had built and that me being in a relationship was almost something that I thought I had to have to be able to be a love consultant and when I broke up with that person it was like I cried and cried and cried and cried and cried but it was this huge big thing, almost this death of knowing and feeling that I wouldn't be credible or something was wrong with me because I couldn't be in a relationship and I was teaching about love at that time. And so I've done a lot of work around this, of course, and I've had to talk myself off the ledge. And so really, even today, yesterday when I, when I got that text, I felt that little tinge of like, oh, because they'll be like, how's your love life? And I'm like, I'm more in love than I've ever been. It's amazing. But that's not what people want to hear. <laughs> but it's the truth. I'm more in love than I've ever been. And that's always my goal. So there's all these things I, ha I have said to myself in the past. But for me, even today, it's... And as I was meditating, I, I went through all of these these uh, 
these the self-talk that I give myself or that I have given myself and yeah I don't think I need to even share it here <laughs> with you but it's something for me my so if there's a trigger there's still some issue around it and there's still energy around it so I'm not in a relationship this is me talking to me I'm not in a relationship with someone and even if I never am if I never get married it doesn't matter because my goal is to be in love and to expand my love and to be the fullest expression of love that I can be that's with everyone around me and maybe it's not my purpose right now to be married the only reason I'm not is because I haven't met anyone <laughs> that wants to play at my level that wants to play like I want to play in love and all the beautiful people I've been in relationship with they do and they have and it was amazing but the way I play in love it's fucking full on it's like what I teach everything I teach and that I've ever taught I do and I practice because that's what I like and I want to I want to play all the way in fact I, I dated a guy and just a few months ago and we dated for like three months it wasn't very serious he lived a bit far away and um, but I had look we had a really strong connection and because of that then and he also had the capacity to be able to relate in in a deep way we would talk I would bring up so when I'm feeling something I bring it up and I speak about it in a way not placing it on them like hey I'm feeling this you know this relationship is bringing something up for me and it's triggered by this past relationship and I want to work through it not otherwise I'm gonna project it onto them and that's not what I want to do and so this was going on and he was like why are you always bringing this stuff up when I saw your picture you just look like the girl next door and that's what I wanted and now you just want to like do work and you just want to like work in this relationship <laughs> and I thought uh, yeah I do want to fucking do work like what do you want to do you just want to like that's how I play and so for all those people and those critics this is what I'm telling myself like you can have whatever criticism you want and I know who I am and what I am and what my purpose is and I've had to talk myself out of expectations so other people's expectations for us like that I should be married or because I had a client the other day he was like mind you a client that's never done one thing I've ever suggested and is still in the shitty situation he's always been in say to me are you are you married yet I'm like it's been six months since you spoke to me last of course I'm not married yet <laughs> even if I met someone amazing I wouldn't be married in six months um, but I've had to talk myself out of expectation because I've had that expectation on myself that I should be married or that I should be in, in a relationship and it's brought me down and there's this false belief that we have to be with someone and it is disempowering It's very very disempowering because if I'm always yearning for someone and yearning for someone to be in my space I'm not in my own power I'm feeling like and I felt that for a long time that I needed someone to be with to feel full and alive and that it would solve all my problems and that's never gonna solve my problems being with someone's not gonna solve my problems if anything it just amplifies problems <laughs> and you need to be clear enough to be able to work through them and yes it's so beautiful when you can have a partner who wants to grow with you and there's so much power in that I mean so much power in growing with someone and I'm not saying you need to be single to work through your stuff I'm not saying that at all because having a very supportive partner when you're working through something is it's it's synergy right so it's way more amplified but also coming back to that expectation of myself because every because I had this every relationship I had I had the expectation that it needed to last a long time and and last year it kind of fucked me up a bit and I was in this place where I I hated love like that feeling of just hating this idea because of all the expectation I'd placed on myself of relationships and needing to my life to look a certain way you know 
I feel amazing right now. I feel better than I've ever felt. And I don't feel that need that I have to have someone. And I don't feel lonely at night. And, you know, I do have children, which I'm, that makes a difference. You know, I have my, my, my life is very full. My space is full. I have a means to give my love away, which is, you know, a lot of people don't have that, which I'm very, very grateful for. But, you know, where are you putting expectations? Do you believe the things that society tells you about being married and being in a relationship? It's hard not to. And so my self-love and my expanding my love is again telling is speaking to myself about that it's okay where I am if I am never married again that's fine if I am that's fine if I am doing my best and I'm in alignment and when someone is in alignment with me and I'm in alignment with them you come together and until that time and that thing it doesn't matter what anyone says I know that I'm doing my thing and it's also perfect these are the experiences I have to have on my journey to know and do what I have to do. So thank you for my beautiful friend who texted me yesterday and reminded me that this is still a little tiny thing like in my head and that until the trigger is gone, I still get to send love and energy and into this area of my life and so to support me. <sighs> so. I'm sure there's more I can say on this, especially about expectations of being in a relationship. All those women out there who have never been married, have never had children, that's also a big thing. I don't have to struggle with that. I have kids, but don't believe what they say. Follow your heart and your situation. You have to freaking just be okay with what is sometimes, right? And whew, that's a big one, being okay with what is. I'm doing everything I can. There's not there was this two-way street here, you know. Someone else has to come in my space and want to play. And until that happens, I have to just accept where I am. Acceptance. I think that's what it's about. And really, I'm noticing that's what all of these things are about. It's about noticing, acknowledging, and accepting. So, love, love, love you. And in love, love, love me.